What's going on America? This is Kevin at Kevin's Corner, which is wherever I am. Wherever I'm at, there I am. And that's where Kevin's Corner will be. Um, I'm going to try to make some sense out of this nonsense that just came in. So I went into my YouTube account. Come to find out they have demonetized several of my videos by saying that they are advertised, what, non-advertising friendly, something like that. Um, I'm disgusted by it. You know, I, I've often said that truth is the new hate speech. And I don't know what premise YouTube is operating off of, um, what's their business model. And I don't know, even some of the liberal TV stations like CNN and, and, and what's the other one for the sports, uh, ESPN, all of these companies are really going hard against conservative speakers, conservative speech, conservative ideas, conservative voters. And that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Don't they realize that half of America voted for Donald Trump for a reason? Because they are sick of being censored and told what to think, how to feel, what they can and cannot say, what they can and cannot support, what they can and cannot believe. And if they choose to differ, then we are silenced in multiple ways. First tactic is to shame us by calling us all kind of names. If you're black, you're called a sellout. You're called a Uncle Tom. If you're white, you're called a racist, a white supremacist. It's, you know, it's the same old, same old. And I'm upset about it. Because, see, when they demonetize my videos and not advertise to the people who watch them, what they're really saying is the people who watch my videos aren't worthy of these products. They apparently, I guess they feel that the only type of uh, potential customers that watch my videos like, yep, yeah, let me tell you something, Bobby. We're going to look at this thing here. We're going to go, we're going to round up Bobby and we're going to round up Jimmy. We're going to go and we're going to get us some ropes and some fire. And I mean, what, what, what do they think? What, I mean, these are intelligent Americans that are watching the videos and yet I guess they feel whatever I'm talking about is so offensive that they had to demonetize it. And that is a horrible business model because they are Xing out a large portion of their viewers, their supporters. Um, look at ESPN. The ratings are tanking because they have gotten involved in politics. Look at the, the Grammys or the Emmys that, that took place. I don't even watch that garbage anymore. I mean, it was such a horrific display of politics given and shoved down America's throat by rich, privileged, successful Hollywood actors and actresses as if their opinions mattered to real people. I mean, the stuff that was said was just, it was unbelievable. Just straight accusations of calling the president a white supremacist and he's a this and that. What they are really doing is offending the voters. They're saying that we don't have the intelligence enough to see through that crap. They're saying that for whatever reason, for us to even support this president must mean somehow deep down on the inside, we must be um, hateful. We must be sexist. We must be anti-Muslim. We must be anti-Mexican. We must have some type of deep evil on the inside. And to me, it, it makes me feel like once again, this is a coordinated effort to silence a large majority of Americans who don't agree with these liberal views and the Democrats. It is so one sided. It's so fixed. When you look at the major corporations that have control over communication, over the media, they are all in cahoots and have efforts in a coordinated attack to silence true speech just straight freedom of speech they are doing everything they can and if it makes sense and it bucks up against the liberal agenda then they silence you i'm a con i'm concerned about google and all of the information it has and how it has decided to come on board and silence speech um facebook you name it they are coming and gunning after us i'm offended youtube that you feel that my rhetoric 
must be so hateful and harmful. I don't even know what the criteria is for you to determine what is not worthy of advertisement. Can you send me something? I would like to know, please. Let me know so I can tiptoe around and possibly fix up what I feel and think to accommodate you and who you think are worthy of advertisement. I'll put some sprinkles on my words and I'll make sure I put a cherry on top. I won't say things that hurt people on the inside anymore, YouTube. Not. I'm going to say whatever I feel because this is America. Greatest country on the planet. Freedom of speech. Even if you don't agree with it, you just simply don't watch it. But obviously, people agree with what I'm saying because of the amount of clicks. Every click is a potential customer for someone. So what gives you the right to say that it's not advertising advertisement friendly? It just blows my mind. Please give me a response. That's all I want to know. Give me, lay it out. See, they had this little button in there. If you disagree, click here for another review of your video to the same people who reviewed it the first time and said that it shouldn't be advertised. Come on, I'm gonna get the same results. Give me something in writing to say why. I mean, the only videos I guess that they want to advertise uh, when it comes to black conservatives are the ones where, um, you know, when it comes to black people, I guess, you know, I gotta get on here like uh, Black Lives Matter and play the victim and, and, and call out how horrible Donald Trump is and, and how oppressed I am and the system's on my back cause I'm black and they got me down on the ground cause I'm brown. Yeah, they would give me about 50 million views on that and monetize that video. But yet when you get up there talking about how fake the news is and, and how much they're pushing these false agendas and how real Donald Trump has been and how productive he's been, they're like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. We don't want that spread, especially from a black man, because that would dispel the myth that all black people vote Democrat. And that would dispel the myth that don't know minorities support Donald Trump, only rich white men supports Donald Trump. And they don't want that to leak out that actually minorities do agree with his policies. So if you're watching this YouTube, you'll probably demonetize this one as well. Please get back with me and let me know, what is the problem? I mean, is everybody that sensitive? Uh, last I checked, you have the right to either watch something or don't watch it. That's the whole point of freedom of speech. But I guess freedom of speech is, is no longer even relevant to America. And truth is the new hate speech. Anyway, this is Kevin Ellerby. Uh, make sure you check me out on uh, Twitter. I got some links below. Since they've demonetized me, please support. I, I have an online store with some shirts that uh, really speak out funny against uh, these uh, the, the liberalism that's taking place in America right now. So please support. You can also follow me on Twitter and make sure you subscribe. And I'm going to let all of my viewers know if YouTube ever got back with me and gave me an intelligent reason why they demonetized my videos. Jive turkeys. See, I took them back to the 80s. Jive turkeys. All right.